Hi family, welcome back to the channel, Relocate with Kaya. I am Kaya. I provide online support for families, individuals, and employees looking to move abroad. I provide them with relocation, country-specific resources. And on our channel, Rich and I discuss our own personal journey of moving from Philadelphia, moving from Philadelphia to Johannesburg, South Africa with our beautiful daughter, Nina. And today we are talking about the flip side of last week's conversation, which is our perspective from moving from America to South Africa. And this weekend we had an opportunity to hang out uh, with some new friends uh, that are from South Africa. And a lot of the conversation um, we had was their perspective of living in South Africa and actually wanting to go somewhere else. Uh, so, and a lot of the conversations were, um, yeah, it was just very interesting because everything that we love about South Africa, um, sometimes I feel like it's hard for other people to see, which I think is definitely uh, a product of, you know, maybe thinking the grass is greener uh, on the other side. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much what the, this video is going to be about, just hearing people's perspective of South Africa and um, their desire to maybe go somewhere else. Yeah, so it's interesting because um, <laughs> it broke out. It was a prize of guys, girls, the, you know, guys, <laughs> by, guys by the fire and <laughs> ladies were inside because it was still a little, <coughs> little chilly for uh, South African standards. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. And I just found it interesting. Not interesting. It happens kind of all over. Like the level and the topics, the level of conversation, the topics that the ladies cover. Versus what the guys cover. Like, it wasn't anything, like, too personal for the guys. Like, you talk yeah. about sports and this, and, oh, I went here, and, like, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Perfectly pleasant conversations with them. She's like, we talked about this and this. And I'm like, whoa, wow. Like, yeah. you guys really covered actual topics. So I just yeah. find that unique just between you know, guys and girls. You could be 20 feet apart. And have really? So, it's, so the guy, because I feel like for us, it's all the conversations always why we moved here, and then that leads to deeper conversations. So that doesn't happen. There was some guys. of that, but like we don't like full on high dive into the deep end. I think right. the way you guys did. I don't know if we did, but okay. <laughs> I mean, it's just a, just an observation <coughs> on my part. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes. No. Well, I am a talker, and I like to ask <coughs> questions, so it probably is more of a me. Uh, then not so much of a, this is how ladies behave. Well, you are a through line, so I don't, I, I, I don't know how to control for that in my, uh, in my experiment here. <laughs> so, but no, but it was just, uh, and we've had these conversations uh, before, you know, but what I noticed was, so a few weeks ago we went to, uh, when we went on the Soweto tour, we went with like a, quite a few people from um, Nina's school. It just so happens that all these were parents from Nina's school, and a lot of them were from other places. Mm -hmm. And we ju were just talking about, um, you know, our sharing our perspectives of living here and the things that we love so much. And um, and yeah, so it was just interesting. And then like you know, they would share their perspectives of the countries that they left. And Rich and I chose to um, to leave America for a myriad of reasons. But a lot of the couples that we talked to were um, came to South Africa because of work. Mm -hmm. But it just so happens that once they got here, they realized you know everything that you know. I feel I feel like people acknowledge when they move here. Um, just the quality of life and the pace and the people and the food and on and on and on. Um, but it's just interesting to hear, you know, people that are from here, hear their perspectives. It's very similar to kind of what ours was, even though the difference is they moved here for work and we chose to move here. Uh, so there's definitely a difference because our intentions, like we, we were intentional about coming here. It wasn't because of a job. So to hear them talk about, you know, just all the great things about South Africa. And then talk to people that are from here that have desires to go other places. It's just really, uh, yeah, it's just really interesting um, to hear. And you want to, uh, and what I also found interesting is that none of these people said they wanted to come to America, which, you know, God bless them. I feel like the secret is slowly <laughs> but surely getting out. Um, so yes, I found that interesting. Like a lot of people would like to, you know, move to Australia yeah, and Canada. Yeah. For some reason, that might be an easier move for Why folks from here. That? I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like that's 
like the perspective is the one thing and it's like um what a lot of people south africans will say like after a conversation with us about like oh wow like you know i do appreciate my country yeah oh yeah and it's refreshing to they hear someone else say that yeah um, yeah they also say it's a little disappointing to hear how we frame the states like yeah. it's not you know this propagandized you know Ugh. like thing on a hill mm -hmm. but um again like not Beacon. Beacon, like, yeah. mm -hmm. like not living here not knowing your perspective you know or, or having lived that lived experience like right. it's good hearing that from people yeah like even when we're in the states and you know from here like humans are designed unfortunately mm -hmm. to remember the negative things that are challenging like that was a survival mechanism throughout history like Here's a cliff. Someone fell over it and died. Like, let's trauma. stay away from the cliff. Oh, mm -hmm. there's a crocodile in the water. What's the, you know, like, you, yeah, but, right. but yeah. that helps you survive. If you eat something that killed someone, like, you don't eat that again. You remember that's a danger. You right. Know, like, right. So just we're inherently wired to retain negative things. And it's harder, even just look at mental health. Look at the way every, you know, everything. Like, it's, it's easier to remember stressors mm -hmm. than it is the positive things. Yeah. Um, so I think that is some of what goes on with the, you know, you're like, wow, I haven't thought about that in a while, or I didn't see it right, like that. So, right, 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 yeah. You know, like that, that sometimes makes it difficult when you're in it to see right, the to other see side. Like, yeah. Um, plus the other side, in some cases, is romanticized. Or, yeah. Or, or it's like, oh, there, there's no, there's no blemishes to it. It's just right. the green grass and not, right. you know, all the work it would make, take to maintain the lawn or, you know, so on and so forth. So like, right. You know, if you're here mm -hmm. and you're looking dollar to dollar, like, mm -hmm. wow, I'm earning X here. I could earn Y in the States. Like, right. Or is, other countries. Yeah, or yeah. wherever. Like, yeah. wow, that would be so great. Right. But in the States, it's like you don't realize that even at that level, you'd still be two, you know, a paycheck or two away from being homeless. Right. Um, you don't realize, like, the size of your place is going to be a shoebox. That's right. Like, you don't realize, like, all the extra stuff you're going to have to pay for. That's right. And lose. Like, right. you know, all the things that you enjoy here that you can't have there. That's right. Even though the dollar amount is higher. It's higher. And, yeah. And, like, well, the, the stress level is hot. Uh, like, the, the wheel is spinning very fast. Yeah. Like, I think, um, yeah, and I think, so, when, not too far, long after um, we moved here, I saw on the news, um, one of the news channels, I think it was ENCA or one of the news programs, and they were interviewing a broker, a real estate broker, who was saying that during COVID, a lot of South Africans left um, and moved to other countries, but he was saying like, fast forward a couple of years, they're actually returning. So mm -hmm. I definitely think, um, and I would encourage people, you know, to definitely go check it out if that's, you know, what you desire. But I do tend to find that it may be possible that you may go to these other places and realize, you know, just the difference uh, in the quality of life. And it, may, it will may, may be, make you a little bit more appreciative of where you left. Um, because there, you know, I think people are drawn to other countries um, because again, you know, on paper, like for said, you get paid more money. Mm -hmm. But things cost more. So mm -hmm. it definitely does not balance out as far as what you can get uh, as, you know, compared to what you're making. And I think people need to uh, probably be mindful of that um, or be a little sober in that regard. Uh, because what you can get, you know, like I said, you can make a lot more money in the UK or Europe, uh, but you'll get a lot less. So it's just, it really is just fascinating, I find how many, or just the people that we've talked to that have a strong desire to leave. And, uh, but at the same time, you know, being prideful of their country, but just thinking that, you know, things don't work here um, or they're not working the way uh, that I want them to, so let me leave. But what I do find interesting, because the things that they, it seems like they complain about are things like low shedding, which I get, mm -hmm. um, you know, we've only been living with it for nine to 11 months, the last couple not months. The last hundred days right. or so. That's right. That's right. A big win. 
<laughs> Nothing to do with you and extra, but you know. That's right. Like we, uh, one of the uh, persons that we were hanging out with, I think they said also because uh, a lot, yeah, well, people we find want to go. A lot of people want to go to move to Australia. And we've been told that Australia is South Africa, but everything just works. I was, I thought was hilarious because yeah. I, you know, though we've never been, um, I feel like there's definitely parallels uh, to that. And I'm always fascinated. Like when I watch a lot of um, international move abroad programs, I find a lot of South Africans are moving to Australia. So it really is, uh, no, it's definitely a thing. Um, and a lot, and I've, we've talked to quite a few people that want to move to Canada. Uh, and that's also really interesting because I feel like, I mean, there's, there's daylight between America and Canada for sure. Uh, but you know, it's not, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not America, but it's, I feel like it's a little, I know, please don't cover me if you're Canadian. I feel like Canada is America light, um, and so <laughs> in a lot of regards. So, uh, so yeah. Well, that's really where they need to build the wall. Canada. <laughs> Canada is where all the cold air comes from. And you know, the whole cold snap, the cold front that was here, like the zero or slightly negative temperatures, that is a warm, hot, balmy winter day in Canada. <laughs> right, right. That's and right. The high, just Yeah, it's like know. when we talk to people from here, I'm like, Oh, I don't know if you can handle Canada. Ooh, honey, yeah, yeah. That's cold. Yes, yes. If this is, you know, getting you down, Canada is gonna be a whole nother <laughs> level. So uh yeah, so it's just it really is just again about perspectives. Um, and we, you know, when we were tonight, share while we moved, um, and these people actually have access to, you know, the same things and, you know, they still, you know, are looking for something different. It is just really, uh, fascinating because knowing where we came from, um, and the lack of access to things, uh, it's like, wow, you guys really do, you know, as, as tough as it, you know, may seem or ineff inefficient or, um, lagging and all, you know, all those things. It's just like, but you have it. Um, or there's, like I said last week, is there systems in place um, for, you know, for things to work a certain way? Whereas though we're just trying to get, you know, universal health in America, universal mm -hmm. health care and all these other things. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. yeah. So it was just, yeah. uh, the Bri was amazing. Um, everyone that was there was South African. And I feel mm -hmm. like, uh, at least with the talking to the women, uh, it was very interesting uh, to hear, you know, their thoughts. And we had actually, uh, I met this one uh, person who lived in New York for a year and a half, a couple years. Mm -hmm. um, I think she also lived in Australia too. Um, and just hearing her, her perspective um, about wanting, uh, to, you know, to move abroad. It's just, yeah, it's just really interesting. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I think like it just, it just highlights the need or the, the value in moving abroad, living yes. abroad, visiting other places. Yeah. And, you know, you know, people can say like, oh, New York is this or Johannesburg is that. And right. Yada, yada, yada. But like, you don't really know until mm -hmm. you get there, until you live there. That's true. And, you know, you just have to be aware of like when someone presents you something, mm -hmm. are they presenting just the all the bad picture. side yeah. or all the good side? Yeah. Or, you know, like, because, yeah. you know, yeah, all no. of those exist. Like, take New York or even Johannesburg, for right. instance. Like, you can have... You know the the danger, the grittiness, the you know poverty, the struggle. Like you yeah. also have the martinis, like the all oh, the like yes. you know the ultra rich. Like, you, like all of that exists. Yes, there. all of it exists. Yep. So like your experience mm -hmm. could be a little bit of both or whatever. Yeah. Like, just you know you have to see places for yourself because, fully. Like like in like here. Like, yeah. All of it exists. Yes. You know it's not. Yeah. Gonna, you know just like Philly, like. It's Philadelphia. Like it's, yes. just, it's there's a lot going on, but that doesn't necessarily mean that's your daily existence. Right. Like you set foot off the plane. Right. So my negativity is going to happen. Right. Like, but you know. Like, right. No, that's very true. Um, yeah, because you know, in talking to people that are looking to move abroad, um, and, and, and for people that are sort of moving to Johannesburg or South Africa in particular, uh, it does like it comes up often. Like uh, the you know, is it safe? Uh, and that just always, you know, throws me off because I, again, coming from a city in a city that's, you know, a little tough, it's kind of just like in comparison. Uh, but the same thing, like we knew where to go, where not to go in Philadelphia. Same thing applies pretty much to anywhere you move. 
Um, you just have to, right. Like, I believe what Mark Blanton said is like, if you go looking for trouble, you'll find it. Mm -hmm. And that's the truth. Like, if you look for trouble here, you'll find it. But I, in our experience of being here, it hasn't found us. Um, because we don't, you know, we just, you know, we just carry on with our lives and go where we want to go. Um, so yeah, so try and explain that to people, um, is always interesting, uh, because it's like, no, that hasn't been our experience. Yeah. And, it, and it's kind of like it all exists and it's all out there you right. have to be aware of all of that stuff yes. and uh -huh. like you said like moving from a big city to a big city was right. an easier transition yes. for us like yes. some people with right. smaller town more yeah. rural perspective might be yes. different That's true. or even folks in Europe like they have the homogeneous like whatever like some um, of they, they don't experience any of like oh I'll park my electric bike outside wherever right. and it stays right. there like dude right. you, you right. park stuff Certain in your countries. backyard in Philly to grow legs and walk yes. away like yes um, that happened to us yeah mm -hmm. so it's yeah it's it's yeah, it, 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 I guess it just comes down to where you're coming from and just, yeah. you know, the, uh, yeah, like just keep that in mind for those that are interested in moving, mm -hmm. you know, the, leaving their home country to go somewhere new. Um, you're going to meet people that, uh, yeah, that have just, you know, different ideas about the country. So for us, it's just, it's always just fascinating uh, because it's like, wow, uh, you know, but you know, they may go there and absolutely love it and don't mm -hmm. return because I've heard stories about people that have moved, uh, left this beautiful country and not return. But it is, it is interesting to hear that people were leaving, uh, but now mm -hmm. they're returning uh, because, you know, it's it's just a, a harder grind yeah. in, a, really like, in certain countries. Yeah, we really haven't talked to much of those folks that had, like, extended time somewhere else. Right. And back here. Yeah. But, like, was it the quality of life, the mm -hmm. pace of life? Was it, you know, the dollar? Like, I don't Yeah, like, like what was know. the reason? I mean, yeah. it, could, it could be something as simple as, like, family and friends. Like, yeah. You know, and that's, that's what you back but. right yeah i know that uh yeah being able to spend time with them mm -hmm. uh yes yeah, so it could be a myriad of reasons but i just thought it was interesting to hear perspectives from people that moved here from other places and to talking to people that live here with the desire of going to uh other countries so it's definitely like i feel like every time we go out and interact with people uh we learn something new about uh ourselves and also this country so so I just wanted to, we just wanted to share that. Um, did you have anything else to add? No, I don't. No? How was the game? Oh, so, what, uh, did you even watch? I don't even think you watched the game. Didn't even watch we the game. We paid strict attention to the Springbok Ireland game. I <laughs> literally... The women were sitting inside watching the game. Well, it was watching. What well, like was nine, watching we had me? Like nine phones and tablets outside. Oh, was that? Did end. you? No, you didn't. Anyhow, <laughs> they didn't watch the game. They were outside grinding. Don't, so don't believe her. Didn't watch the game at all, y'all. They were in-depth conversation. They yeah, they didn't see when we were well, in there. Well, I definitely was not paying attention. Oh, but yeah. there were uh, there were women that were definitely invested in paying attention. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, we were having these great conversations. But uh, yeah, it yeah. was. It was really, really, really nice. Yeah. So it was funny. Like, everyone had their uh, shirts on and all that. <laughs> yes, they like, did. Yes, they did. I Full regalia. I still would feel, even though it's oh. coming up on a year, yeah. I still would feel like a poser. Of a fraud. Yeah, yeah. A poser. Can't like, do if it. I'm putting it on and. Can't do it, you, you guys. Know. Let us know when is a respectable amount of time before we yeah. can rock the spring <laughs> yeah. box. How shirt. long do you have yes. to be That's in. Right. in, in in it right <laughs> right. You can, like... right how long do we have to live here before rich and i can comfortably uh wear a springbok uh shirt or sweatshirt because mm -hmm. nina has one because they have you know stuff at her school yeah, like supporter day right or, exactly or exactly so she has one but we're just like we can't do it we don't want people side eyeing us so let us know when it's okay for us to wear these shirts because it's a nice green and the green looks good on the skin. So, <laughs> so and that's the important. Part. <laughs> that is the important part. Can I rock it? Does it look good on me? Uh, but yeah, but that's pretty much uh, yeah. So that's our conversation this week. Uh, of course, we appreciate you guys watching. We really do. And the very warm and kind uh, comments uh, and feedback, even ones. Um, you know, that are critiques. They are all welcome here because we really do take it into account because I love watching YouTube and um, yeah, like I know I probably should comment on stuff more, but mm -hmm. I definitely want <laughs> 
I definitely, you know, appreciate uh, when people do take time out of the day, one, to watch it, and then to two, uh, to comment. So, yeah, this, uh, thank you for watching. Please feel free to like, subscribe, and I think that's it. That's it. We'll check it on how much you've commented the next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>